Hey there, it's Pete Checkley for Sample Library Review and today I'm doing a first look of Aria from Audio Imperia. Following in the footsteps of a high quality orchestral sampling and design as demonstrated with Jaeger and Nucleus, Aria extends the tradition with a vast and complete lush string section. Utilising the new Audio Imperia Pyramid engine, we can look forward to exceptional scripting and a rock solid performance throughout. Is Aria the new string library you've been looking for? Let's find out. Aria downloads at approximately 68 gigabytes and has four mic positions and two ready to go mixes. These are classic and modern. There are individual instrument sections, pre-orchestrated ensembles and full ensembles. There are a wide range of articulations and true legato for each instrument. Aria is made for the free contact player version 6.2.2 or higher and is also NKS compatible. It sells for $399. Also, if you own either Jaeger or Nucleus, you do get a further $100 off as a loyalty discount. Aria is a large library with a lot to offer. So to put it into context, I created a epic orchestral composition using only strings from Aria. The rest of the orchestra is from Jaeger and I use other Audio Imperial products for sound design. There are one or two other libraries like the choir that I borrowed elsewhere. So let's have a listen. And going into a rear, it is a full, uh, fully articulated string section. And you can see from the folders on the left, you have the multi patches, the single patches, performance patches, measured tremolo and sound design. So without talking about the GUI at the moment, I'm going to jump straight in and just play you some of the multi patches. As we go into the multi patches, you can see there are several different uh, single sections and also the ensemble patches. So uh, let's just start with the legato.
and sustained. Pizzicato. Spiccato Fest. Spiccato Slow. And Staccato. Marcato Short. And Marcato Long. Now these Marcato patches are very, um, very velocity sensitive. Which is a nice touch because obviously you want to control how the uh, you know the, the string volume is fading in. Now, if I go back to the let's say sustain patch, you can hear the vibrato is on full. So if I just assign that to, uh, I assign that to my foot pedal, and I'm just going to remove the expression for a second. Now. You can hear the vibrato. Okay, so everything's assignable. Now, normally I wouldn't do that. So I'm just going to bring vibrato up there and pop the uh, expression back there. And now you have a lot more control. And you can really hear the different dynamic layers coming into play. And the result is you get this incredibly lush and big Hollywood sound. So looking at the GUI, the first page has everything generally that you need. So there are two different mixes. There's a modern mix and the classic mix. So modern mix. And then you can switch to the classic mix. So straight away, there are two very usable out the box mixes. You can change the reverb and the reverb amount. You can also, if you just want to very quickly change the mics. So let's just go for a close mic. Always let that load. If I remove the reverb, And you can hear how dry that sounds. So when you're blending with other libraries, that's really, really important. Alternatively, we can go all the way to the far mic. And just add the reverb again. So right from the first page, there are plenty of different options. Now, there is a Sordino option down the bottom. In fact, let's just go back to the modern mix. So now that mic slider isn't active. So that's the Sordino and there's also 
uh, niente. Put on the two. So let's just turn those off. And then second violins. So you can hear the change between second and first violins. So it's first. And second. So when you're composing and you've got your two violin sections, um, it's really, really quick just to change uh, the instrument. So that's the first page of the GUI. If you click on the advanced, we have all our different mic options and obviously classic and uh, modern mixes there. You have more uh, control over the reverb so between room and halls, and obviously the pre-delay time and amount. And then on the right, we have our basic controls, um, but we have the dynamic range, uh, legato smoothing, velocity curve if you need it, and the sample start. Now, the sample start isn't something I've spoken about too much, but it's one of the biggest features of Audio Imperial libraries that I absolutely rave about. The sample start is something Audio Imperia are incredibly explicit about. So if you go through their instructions or on their website, it will say that they have 125 millisecond delay on each sample. Now that means when you're performing, it's very lyrical. Very playable, very natural, very human. And if I just sort of tweak that, you can see it was at 125. If I go back to the basic, you have this type button. And what that will do is now change the sample start to zero. So and that means you can compose complete on the grid, you can hard quantize everything, and it will sound completely in time. And then once you finish composing, you can turn the uh, tight control off and you have this really expressive performance um, Obviously then in your door if you want to set a millisecond delay just to nudge everything if you're using percussion, etc It works really really well now that works across Aria, Jaeger and Nucleus. Um, I imagine it's uniform across everything with the pyramid um, engine and it's such a cool uh, function to have because it's a massive time saver you're not nudging you're not playing with pre-delay you're just getting in there and composing so for me that's a huge selling point of this library and also if you combine it with other audio imperial libraries um, it just makes one cohesive package so i'm going to turn the mic off and play through the different sections of the multis
So those were the advanced articulations for the violin. So they're ones that you probably wouldn't use too much. Now, they're all key switchable and let's say you want to offload some of the samples. You can see the instrument size is going down. Um, you can load the articulation separately if you want to as well. Um, these are all key switchable on the left hand side and also I did miss out the Bartok pizzicato. So let's play a little bit of that. Uh, that's always one of my favourite articulations um, I possibly have used that. And you can see the dynamics does grey out depending on what they are. So I was, um, for some reason, uh, using the mod wheel when I didn't need to. Um, I really love the sound or the, just the general feel of the library. The trill whole tones I can see myself using a lot. It's got that instant magical vibe. If I just turn the reverb off for that and go to classic mix. It just reminds me of like, you know, some kind of holiday, um, full on Christmas mode, I don't know. Uh, just sounds absolutely brilliant. So every single instrument has uh, the basic articulations and the advanced articulations. So I'm gonna play through some more of these for you.
finish off the Maltes, there are uh, some pre-designed ensembles. So we have exactly the same, the basic articulations and advanced articulations for uh, this example is a 16 violins and 10 violas in octaves. <laughs> So it's a really full sound. And then you can just really simply change. Let's go to pizzicato. Uh, so it's the same for all of these. Now if I uh, go for the lower side, so the six cellos, four double basses. And you can see how quickly these all load as well. There we go. And the patch is in there. So the loading times uh, across the board is uh, really, really quick. And I've noticed this also in the Jaeger update. Um, it's just everything loads in a fraction of the time. So absolutely great. Uh, here's the cellos and double basses. <laughs> And you can get that really thundering low end of the string section uh, using this pre-designed um, ensemble. And then finally, you can have the full ensemble. And again, really quick loading time. And you can see at the top, it's uh, 0.83 gigabytes. So it's not a, a huge patch, but once again, if you wanna just remove some, cause we're only gonna be key switching a little bit, you can reduce the size of the footprint quite well. And if I don't use the dynamics and just use the expression, so I can use two hands hear the range. Um, so I'm actually just going to put the dynamics onto my pedal and remove the expression uh, just so you, it's going to sound a little bit smoother because it was very uh, Yes, quite velocity intensive then. Okay, so again, normally I'd have everything mapped to different MIDI uh, performance channels, but just for the purpose of the video, um, that's what you can expect, I suppose, from the full ensembles. And again, you have all the articulations and you can have the advanced articulations. And there we go. So let's just go for Soltasto. That's fast becoming one of my favourite uh, articulations in uh, Aria. Now if we go back into the main folder, the single patches has every single articulation in that you could possibly need. So I'm going to uh, just skip those because obviously I've played through a lot of those in the multi-patches. The performance patches, every single instrument has a performance patch and the performance patch will decide based on your velocity at the moment, uh, how it's going to play. So which articulation it's going to use. So you can switch from longs to shorts quite easily. Now, again, I was using dynamics, but that is grayed out. Um, so it would be using expression.
and again you have the Sordino and Niente uh, options as well. <laughs> And then you can have it so it's on CC, so you can then use the mod wheel. So again, switching from shorts to longs uh, really, really quickly. Um, so there's one for each instrument and also the pre-designed ensembles and the full ensemble. Then the next folder is the measured tremolo. So if I just bring up the uh, violins measured tremolo and you can see it's it's already mapped to the mod wheel and there is a basic progression, not progression, sorry, sequence in there, uh, determined by velocity. And it really is as simple as drawing your own curve in. That's going to be quite interesting. If you want to take some out, you just go. Uh, a bit low down and also you can just completely remove some. So let's have a, a big accent. And you can change the speed as well. So I'm just going to uh, slightly change those. So if I go to half time uh, triplet, and half time. And you can see if I start the sequence midway through, uh, it will just go back to the start. So we'll keep everything in time. Uh, so let's go triplet. And then double time. And if you want to switch between, there are key switches on uh, the red keys on the keyboard and you can pre-program all your different patterns in. Um, also, we'll take a lot more time over these normally. And you can switch between them using the key switches. So it's really, uh, it's a really cool tool to really quickly build these ostinato effects and uh, just create across the whole um, ensemble uh, different sequences, ostinatos and rhythms. The last folder contains the uh, sound design, which is 10 different pads. So if you just click on there, you can bring up any 10 of these. So I've got colors. Now it is separated into a low end. Also the high end where you can add um, just almost like melodic elements. And this is something that uh, Audio Empire is really renowned for, is our exceptional sound design. Um, let's just go for infinite. So in terms of having a cue starter or a cue builder, uh, they're, they're great just to set a atmosphere um, or just a, a vibe. So uh, let's go for modes.
And you have your general controls, the volume pan, uh, you can change the pitch if you like to, uh, you can lock that where it is. The low pass cut off, the high pass cut off, stereo spread, attack and release as well. So you can adjust all of those. Then in the effects, you can put different types of effects on. Um, let's say you want to use a flanger. Let's do that with a rotary as well. So you can stack these effects. So you have some uh, really cool options using all the onboard effects. I'm just going to add some distortion. I'm going to bring the patch down a little bit as well, just in case you just don't know what it's going to sound like. So you get some very cool sounds out of the sound design section. Now, as a uh, sort of working composer, this kind of thing is completely invaluable. You can just get straight in, you know it's all going to fit, it's all going to sound cohesive, and it's just going to work. My final thoughts on Aria are, first and foremost, the sampling is absolutely top-notch. Out of the box, it sounds great. The fact you have all the different mic mixes and uh, you can adjust everything to taste is really useful. The big point for me is the 125 milliseconds delay on the samples. The way you can use that uh, in any way you like to, so you can um, perform uh, very lyrically or you can click the type button and you can have it complete on the grid and compose that way. It just makes the workflow so much quicker. When you combine it with Jaeger and Nucleus, uh, just off you go, you know, it's really, really straightforward to do. Um, I think the sound design is a great addition, as is the measured tremolo, and I think as an all-in-one cohesive package, this is um, a, a very, very accomplished and very polished string ensemble. In terms of what I'd like to see improved with the library, well, if I'm totally honest, there's nothing that I've encountered going through where I think, why is that there? What's that doing? I think the library has been incredibly well designed. The scripting is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it is so stable, it all loads incredibly quickly. And, you know, it's, it's just a joy to use. Um, maybe for the future, and this is by no means a criticism, but I can see this being further extended into, like I say, having the whole idea of uh, sort of string swells, um, like crescendos, I guess. Uh, I don't know, it would just really lend itself well to the, uh, the horror genre or the, the more cinematic uh, genre, because the sampling is great, and you can do a lot of that in a way with what's here, just by obviously playing and programming in. Um, so that's just an extension idea, but you know, that's not, as I say, what this library is all about. It's cinematic ensemble strings and it delivers that in spades. So from myself and on behalf of the SLR team, I'd like to thank you so much for checking out uh, our walkthrough of Aria by Audio Imperia. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the instrument, how you'd use it, what you'd like to see uh, possibly improved or change. And also like our channel, thumbs up the videos, uh, check out our other videos across the channel because uh, there are so many products being reviewed now. And also go to samplelibreview.com to check out everything virtual instrument. Have an absolutely fantastic day and take care.